Hello friends, we are going to discuss if, elif, else statement in Python along with an example. When a series of decisions are involved, we have to use more than one if else statement which is called multiple if, elif, else statement. Multiple if, elif, else statement are much faster than a series of if, else statement since their structure is exited when any one of the condition is satisfied. You will see the syntax. This is the if, elif, else statement. First we are having if statement followed by condition, colon and with an indentation which shows the scope of the statement or under the if block. When the condition is true, the statement under the if block will execute it. Once it is executed, the control will come out of the entire if else structure. If the if condition is false, then the control will come to the first elif statement and check the condition. If it is true, the statement under the first elif will get executed and the control will come out of the block. If the first elif is false, it will come to the next one. If it is false, it will go to the next one. If all the elif statements are false, then control will come to the else block and execute the statement. So, this is the advantage of the if elif else statement and if condition followed by any number of elif and finally we are having a else. If any if or any one of the elif condition is true, the statement under the appropriate the block is get executed and the control will come out of the block. That is the advantage of this if elif else statement which is much faster than uh, the nested if else statement in Python. So, this, this is the structure. It will test the expression one. That means if condition it is true, statement one will get executed and the control will come to the next statement after the if elif else statement. Otherwise, the second condition will get tested. The statement under the second condition will get executed. Otherwise, the next one will get tested. If the, all the conditions are false, the statement under the else will get executed and control will come out of the block. So, only one block will execute where the condition is true. Otherwise, if all the conditions are false, the statement under the else will get executed. We will see an example. We are going to write a Python program to take two integers x and y as an input from the user. The program should compare two numbers and print one of the following message. It will print the message x is less than y if x is smaller than y. It will print x is same as y if both numbers are equal. It will print x is greater than y if x is larger than y. For this we are going to write a python program. Enter the first number. So enter the first number will get displayed in the console. User enters an input and it is obtained as a string by the input statement which is converted into integer by the int function and stored it in the variable x. Likewise, I am getting another input from the user. Integer on input on enter the second number. So, likewise, the value entered by the user is stored in the variable y. The in function which converts the string received by the input statement and stored it in the variable y. Now we are having a value x and y. Now I am going to compare if x greater than y, I am printing print x, the value of the variable x will get printed or by a string is greater than comma and y. So, if x is greater than y, if the condition is true, we have to give a colon here. If this condition is true, the statement under the if block will get executed. The tab space indentation, it shows that the statement is under the scope of the if block. Next, I am writing an elif statement. Elif x double equal to y. That means there is a comparison. If both x and y are equal, I am printing, print, I am printing x, the value of the variable x will get printed or by a string is 
equal to so value of variable x powered by the string is equal to powered by the the variable y that means the value of the variable y the value of the variable y will get printed when x equal to y otherwise in the else statement i am printing print x is smaller than powered by the value of the variable y so how it works if x greater than y if the condition is true the statement under the if block will get executed that's why x is greater than y the value of the variable x powered by is greater than is a string and powered by the value of the variable y will get printed so x greater than y once this condition is true the print under the if block will get executed so after the execution the control will come to the next statement after the if else block if this condition is false the condition in the else will get tested if this is true print x is equal to y x is equal to y double equal to is a comparison operator x is equal to y will get printed and the statement will come out of the entire structure if else also false the statement under the else block will get executed that is x is smaller than y now we are going to execute the program and check the result enter the first number and giving 100 enter the second number and giving 50 so 100 is greater than 50 is my result so in this case x greater than y is true the statement under the x block will get executed it prints x is greater than y i am going to execute the program again and giving x is 100 y is 100 first number store the value in x second number store the value in y 100 is equal to 100 so how it happens here 100 greater than 100 is false it will come to the else and check the condition 100 equal to 100 is true it prints x is equal to y 100 is equal to 100 I am going to execute the program again and check the another scenario. So I am giving the value here is a fifty, second number hundred. So here fifty is smaller than hundred is my result. How it happens? Here check the condition x greater than y false. Then we come to the else and check x equal to y that is also false. And we can come to the else part and print x is smaller than y. The value of the variable x is smaller than y is my result so 50 is smaller than y is my result that's it thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel share comment and press the bell button thank you